what's going on guys so as you can see I've got this thing here called a game show uh, made by a company called clockwork and basically they sent me this product so that I could check it out um, and see what's up with it so basically so as far as I understand um, it's basically kind of like a configurable portable console that you kind of build yourself and um, you can kind of mod uh, basically let's kind of go through and you can see what it is so game show you see over here, it kind of looks like a Game Boy Color um, with the, the layout and the screen and stuff. So it's got a quad-core Cortex-A7 CPU, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, uh, programmable keypad, uh, Linux, uh, 1 gigabyte DDR3 memory, 16 gigs micro SD with Clockwork Pi OS, okay, micro HDMI port, and 1200 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. So it's got some cool specs in here. Um, you know, it's got some kind of custom OS called Clockwork Pi and the cool part I think is the micro HDMI output so you can you know basically hook this up to your TV and play it and I've got a little their info page pulled up over here I'll, I'll uh, put it in the description so you can check it out um, basically get some more information so it's a modular game console you kind of put together um, you can buy one they're not super cheap um, kinda depends on which one you want there's one for 160 140 150 and 700 um, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not sure of all the differences, but basically it's a bunch of development boards and um, things that uh, allow you to kind of customize your own console. So if you're really into, um, you know, customizing um, your own video games, then I think this would be a um, super cool thing for you. And they got a, got a cool, like, vibe here. Um, it kind of looks like a manila folder. Um, and this little penguin saying, don't panic. <laughs> not sure why, but... Uh, we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. I'm kind of just treating this video as an unboxing um, to start with, just so I can get to see what I'm working with here. Take a look here. We got a couple labels: three, two, and one. I'm not really sure what that means, but let's kind of just pull this stuff out, see what's in here. Um, because to be honest, I'm really not sure what to expect here. So let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and look at this stuff first. So basically we got our assembly guidelines. Okay, that's good. So it gives us a little bit of instructions, I guess, kind of how to put all the pieces together. Okay, yeah, so it looks pretty straightforward. Um, pretty detailed instructions without getting too in-depth. And, okay, and I think that's kind of what it looks like at the end. A few ports. And what do we have over here? So we got this other, it looks like stickers. Huh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, so you got stickers, so if you're, if you're into stickers, you can kind of stick those on your console. And then over here, this looks like to be the some of the components. So it's kind of labeled. Uh, might be hard to see here. But basically, you got where this is where our LCD screen goes. This is our battery um, con container. Um, this is where our, our uh, basically our programmable keypad, where our uh, D-pad and... Um, buttons are and then the main board so I think you use those and then this looks like to be the the back portions of this so I think you'd basically clip these together and that's kind of makes some modular portions and then we got some more boxes in here as well so let's go ahead and pull all these out and we'll take a look at them one by one and see what's in here so there's five total boxes um, I like how this is packed it's pretty neatly packed and um, you don't have to go searching for things, so I think this is basically the case to it. And let's kind of just start one box at a time, see what we're looking at. So, highly hackable open source equipment. Um, hmm. Not sure what's in here. Well, they basically all say the same thing, so I think I'm just going to have to open each box up and see what's in it. Probably not best to be doing this on carpet because of, yeah, this is what it says, do not. It's electrostatic, yeah, I don't. Probably not best to be doing this carpet since it's uh, carpet can cause a lot of static. Um, so I would definitely would not recommend doing this on the carpet if you're going to mess with this. Um, well, let's take a quick look at just some of what we got. They actually got them in the little electrostatic bags here. We got what is this? Can't even. It's hard to see. So this is part of the battery circuit. Um, and here's our actual battery. And here's all, here are all our jumper cables. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of kind of gives you the pieces, but um, it gives you enough pieces to make it happen. But it makes you do a little bit of work too. So basically, you got your battery, um, your battery um, controller, or uh, you know circuit, whatever you want to call it, 
and you stick that battery in the circuit and then you hook it up with all the cables so that's pretty cool so there's your battery so next up let's see what we got in here all right so here's what was in that box um, so yes yeah, looks like we got the buttons here yeah so d-pad um, the buttons not sure what those things are right there and these are basically the pads you put behind the buttons that um, click the circuits and then I'm not sure what these things are and we got some more button kind of things here so I'm not sure exactly what all these things are but basically I think these are buttons and other pieces that go with the case to put it together okay cool so here's what was in the third box um, basically we've got the LCD screen right here pretty straightforward um, I'd probably say that's like a two to three inch screen and then we got circuit board for the buttons so basically when you press the button it closes the circuit down here and basically tells the system that you're pressing a button and then looks like we got our main main uh, board right here with all our chips and um, components and that sort of thing and you can see we got like our mini HDMI port and micro USB port I think a few other things like that cool um, so now onto the fourth box oh so that's pretty straightforward this is just the front of the case nice so we got it looks pretty cool looks pretty slick um, I would assume speaker goes down here d-pad buttons select start menu and shift interesting okay and last but not least here we go so this is like the this is like the actual outer portion of the case so it looks like there might be actually just two options so this first option is kind of just like a completely enclosed case and the section second option kind of allows you to make some of your own connections to the board that you put in here so basically you can output it to an Arduino um, or to some uh, GPIO pins and I guess kind of customize it with some other development boards as well so that's kind of cool um, not sure exactly how you interface that stuff or how it work but that's a pretty cool um, idea so yeah guys there there's your unboxing um, I know it didn't it kinda might not make sense exactly what's going on here but basically you got a battery you got all your buttons you got your outer shell and you've got your main uh, CPU board your LCD and your other main circuit board to press the buttons so basically you can put together your own kind of custom um, portable console looks like this and it comes with as I said earlier pull this box over here um, it comes the micro SD card that comes with it comes with Clockwork Pi OS on it so I'm not exactly sure what the Clockwork Pi OS is so maybe it already has some games on it or um, helps you out with modding this thing or adding games to it that sort of thing I'm not completely sure um, this is my first time checking this thing out um, but but I think it's got a lot of potential it looks pretty cool um, I'm probably going to mess with it some more and then make another video in the future kind of showing you what you can do with it. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to check the link out in the description and um, check out the product. See, see what you think about it. See if you like it. And let me know down in the comments what you think. And thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.